This is an introduction to solving nonlinear equations in Python. We have two equations here. The first one is linear, and the second one is going to be nonlinear. This uh, second one is the equation of a circle, a unit circle. And then the, set, the first one there is going to be just a line. And so the solution is where they intersect. So if I go out to 1, I'm going to have uh, about negative 1 half. It's going to look something like this. So there are actually two solutions, one here and one over there on the other side. We're going to set that up and solve that with Python. And then we'll also discuss you know, cases where we might have inequalities, like less than or equal to 1. And we'll talk about that as well. Okay, so let's set this up with uh, Gecko. So from Gecko, import Gecko. And then we'll have a new model, m. And we'll set up our variable, x equals m dot var. And y equals m dot var. You can give them initial values if you'd like. Let's say initial guess is value equals 1 and value equals 1. You don't have to put those, but you can. Okay, and then put our different equations in here. x plus 2 times y. Don't forget the double equal there. And then another equation as well. x squared plus y squared equals 1. Now I can solve it. And let's just see if it returned a good solution. There I can see it's solving. It worked on it. You see a lot of solver output there. And in the end, it says it found a solution. I just want to see the solution. I don't necessarily want to see the solver. So I'll say display equals false. And then I'll do print. And we'll have x dot value and y dot value. Okay, so there are the two values that it came up with, x equals 0.89 and y equals negative 0.45. And if we had a different initial guess, yeah, let's see if we can come up with the other solution. So there's the other solution on the other side. One of the things that we can do with this as well is also put in an inequality. So we could say that this is going to be less than or equal to 1 instead of equal to 1. Okay, so I can do less than or equal to 1 or just less than 1. Those are mathematically equivalent unless you're dealing with integer variables. Okay, now I have a solution that's going to be anywhere inside this circle that also lies on that line. So I need often an objective function to help guide my selection. So I might do m dot uh, objective, and I want to minimize x. So anything you put inside there is going to be minimized. If I want to maximize x, I can find that. Okay, so now when I solve this, it's going to be somewhere on that line. And then I'll be able to maximize x or minimize x. So I can find my two roots that way as well, just by setting up as less than um, 1. 